Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we're at the PTI farm and I'm in one of our corn trials that we've got here. It's a research farm and one of the things that I always notice when I'm out walking and scouting cornfields is leaf orientation on corn. What do I mean by leaf orientation? Well, I've got a, a corn plant here that, that I cut out and when we talk about leaf orientation, when this corn starts to canopy, think about what direction you want the leaves to be oriented. So if in this particular case, we've got rows planted north-south here. And so you look at this corn plant, okay? When you look, think of leaf orientation, the way these leaves come out and cross the row, we want great early canopy, right? And so to do that in these north-south planted rows, I need this corn plant to throw its leaves or orient its leaves east-west, just like what we have here. This, you know, this orientation of this leaf is going to close the canopy. It's going to cool it off, keep moisture in, and keep weeds out as well. Because get this, if we get the orientation wrong, the leaves orient the wrong direction. And again, in a north-south row, I get these leaves going the wrong direction. Now all of a sudden I've got leaves on top of leaves within the row. It leaves an open gap to increase temperature, to dry out, and for us here at this farm, it's a great place for water hemp to come through because of that, that more, you know, more sunlight getting through and it's a great spot for, for weeds to come through. So one of the things I always notice when I'm walking through corn scouting is how many plants got the right orientation versus how many, a plant, how many plants did it wrong. And so let's just take, a, take an overhead shot of this particular field that I'm in and take a look at the leaf orientation of some of these plants and see if we can see how many are getting it right versus how many are getting it wrong. All right. We're in some smaller corn right now, and I like this stage of corn. This is really easy to determine whether we did do a good job with leaf orientation. As you look down through this corn, you'll see lots of different colored flags. The flagging indicates whether the leaf orientation was correct or incorrect. And one of the things we do is we watch it at an early growth stage, we'll determine whether it's right or wrong. And then we come back over time and see if the corn plant was smart enough to figure out, hey, I've got the, the incorrect leaf orientation. Can I fix it? Can I change it? Kind of like a, a sunflower, if you will, as, it, as the head turns and follows the sun with, with some varieties. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera on this, this smaller growth stage corn and just go right over the top of it and show you what we're looking at with these plants that have incorrect or correct leaf orientation. Okay, so here we are on top of these corn rows. And these rows are actually planted east and west. And so this is the correct leaf orientation that we are shooting for. Look at those leaves shooting across the row, trying to achieve fast canopy, keep those weeds out, and get full sunlight interception. Okay, this is what we're this is what we're shooting for. So I'm just gonna walk along the row kind of a little bit and we're gonna determine whether they're they're right or wrong. These two are obviously right. We're gonna go to the next plant. It nailed it, did a very nice job. But then look at this, look at this guy right here totally the wrong and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here look at the correct leaf orientation these plants right here nailed it but we get this guy that is totally oriented the incorrect way and so look at the leaves here how they're on top of each other I call it leaves on leaves and that's going to kind of block sunlight for the other plant that did orient itself the right way and so we're trying to determine how often does this incorrect orientation happen in the field? Is there a yield loss? And is there anything we can do to prevent this from happening? All right, back to this demo we've got here in the field at the PTI farm. You'll see all these corn plants and you'll see the different color flags out here in this trial. The flags designate whether these corn plants got the right orientation or not. So one of the things we're trying to do is determine how, you know, what the occurrence value is, how often is the incorrect orientation happening, is there a yield loss associated with it, and then lastly, if there is a yield loss associated with it, can I fix it by the way I'm orienting the seed in the furrow? That's, what, that's, that's the whole purpose of this particular trial here. So let's talk about occurrence values. This year in this particular demo trial, 
we're finding on average of 70% of our plants did in fact get the right leaf orientation. What does that mean? Well, it means we have an occurrence factor of 30% of our plants that are wrong. A third, basically, a third of our plants are getting the wrong leaf orientation. Now, is there any yield loss? What we found over multiple years here at the PTI farm, that when we take an ear at harvest time of a plant with the wrong leaf orientation, on average, our ear weights are 9.33% less than a plant that has the right leaf orientation. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we take the actual yield, let's say we've got 200 bushel corn out in the field, again, that 9.33% yield loss, that's about an 18 to 19 bushel yield hit of that plant with the wrong leaf orientation. Okay, but it's not happening 100% of the time. You know, as we look at occurrence values in the field, that 18 to 19 bushel yield loss with 20% of our plants wrong would equate to about a 3.7 bushel overall yield loss. 25% wrong would, would be approaching near five bushel. 30% wrong is, is approaching near six bushel per acre. So these are some of the things that we're working on in the field. And I guess if I can figure out I'm getting the wrong leaf orientation. It's costing me yield on a per acre basis. Now the last thing is, can I fix it? And so one of the things our interns are working on in this particular project is, can we orient the seed in the seed trench a certain way to tell that corn plant to orient its leaves correctly? So we give a protocol to our interns and say, all right, I want you to place the seed, the corn seed, in the furrow a certain way, and then we go in and see if we're doing a better job with leaf orientation. The best we've done in this particular study this year is 85% right. 85% right leaf orientation. That means 15% of them are wrong. 15%, that's the best we could do. However, we've got some placements of seed in the trench that take correct leaf orientation down to 60%. That means we're getting it wrong 40% of the time. So I don't know how practical it would be. I don't even know if we can position seeds in the trench as we plant on a commercial wide scale basis. But we've got to do this investigation to at least see what is the differences out in the field? How many times are we getting it right? How many times are we getting it wrong? And can we fix this thing? So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is leaf orientation matters. As you're walking your cornfields at home, look at the leaf orientation. See how many times your plants get it right versus how many times they get it wrong. If you'd like to see some of the, the trials like this that we're working on, come visit us this summer at the PTI farm as we're having some of our agronomy field days. Go to our website at precisionplanning.com. You can see all the events that we've got. We'd love to see you here at the farm this summer. That's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.